I have a Moto G power here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. So right from here, you want to go ahead and choose your language. I'm fine with English here in the US. I'm going to click on Start. From here, you can go ahead and insert your SIM card. You can always insert your SIM card now or later after the setup. Okay, if you want to go insert it now, your SIM tray is right here. Use the SIM injection tool, pop that in there, pull the tray out. Okay. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to put the SIM card in, so we're going to go ahead and skip this right there. Now it's going to connect, looking for our Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead, and here's my Wi-Fi right here. Let me tap on that. Let me go ahead and enter my password. Once you enter your password, click on Connect. It says Connect it. Now it's connecting. Give this a few minutes. And we're, here we have copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. If you want to proceed like that, go ahead and click on next. For me, I'm gonna do a clean, fresh install. I'm gonna click on don't copy right there. Then from here, you can enter your uh, Gmail or Google um, account right here, or you can always skip it and do it later. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. I'll do this later. I'll tap on skip right there. Google service here. This is a uh, preference. If you want to go ahead and leave these toggled on, you can read through these. I'm fine with all of these toggled on. I'll go ahead and tap on accept. Set a pin password is just four numbers. Go ahead and choose that now. After you put in your four digits, go ahead and click on next. And it's going to ask you to reconfirm again. And then go ahead and click on confirm. Now here's the option to set up your fingerprint print password. You can do this now, you can do it later, you can do it never. I would advise us to go ahead and do it now. It's easy to do. Let's go ahead and click on setup and we'll just do one finger here. So from here, what we want to do is, here's the fingerprint sensor right here. We just want to hold it, vibrate, let go. Vibrates, let go. Vibrates, let go. Vibrates, let go. And you can see it working there. Vibrate, let go. Vibrate, let go. Vibrate, let go. Just keep on doing this. Just keep on going. You can see Okay, we're done. Now if you want to add another finger to another finger or another hand or whatnot, you can add on another. You're done with just one. Just click on it. Just tap on done right there. Here's a review of the uh, additional apps, which I'm fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap on OK. About your privacy, you must accept to continue. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on accept and continue. Motorola, uh, let's stay in touch. If you want to stay in touch, you can go ahead and enter your email and whatnot. For me, I don't want to give them my email. I don't want nothing in my um, email. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on next without putting in anything in here. Just tap on next. Grant location permission. That's a preference. That's up to you. I'm going to leave mine on just to make things easier. Click on next. And then you can go ahead and uh, allow only when using the app or you can go all the time or you can just deny it. I'm going to go, go with all the time. And then through this uh, new way to navigate, we can just go ahead and tap on Get Started. You can go ahead and redo this. You know how to go home. You just swipe up. Uh, see recent apps. You can go ahead and go back. And then from here, if you want, you can go ahead and swipe up to the home screen. You can manage your navigation preference and settings. You can go to settings if you wish. But for me, I don't need to do that. Just swipe up. And there we go. We're done. And we're ready to rock and roll. Anything you got to do now basically is insert your SIM card if you haven't already. Good luck.